Hi everyone, welcome to another reaction video. We have two in one day. Earlier we reacted to the Nintendo Direct, which is up now if you want to check it out. And now we're reacting to the Sony State of Play. If you don't know me, my name is Alila, aka Asasina san. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I don't know what to expect except that we are gonna prepare for the Tokyo Game Show, which tells me Final Fantasy 16, maybe Final Fantasy Rebirth or the Crisis Core remake or whatever they're called. Um, and maybe some other weeb shit, I don't know. <laughs> that Kazuya? It's a new Tekken game. Oh, sorry, Ka sorry, Jin. That's confusing Tekken character. Fight! <laughs> Damn, this shit looks like mad cinematic for a fighting game. Like, damn, look at the details in their muscles. <laughs> God damn. Of course they're showcasing a battle in the storm. With the water effects. Oh, damn. Tekken 8. Cool. That's awesome. I didn't play Tekken 7. I haven't played Tekken since Tekken 5. I fell off. It's official. It Tekken got really flashy for me, but that doesn't look flashy. That looks very cinematic. Battle hardened friends at Bandai Namco Entertainment. All right, Bandai Namco. Now let's check in on two games in development for PlayStation VR 2. Huh. Story I was telling. Damn, they're really pushing for VR too. Droid repair tech who had no business getting into this kind of trouble. But there they were, standing against evil wherever it popped up. I think there are a few new items on the shelves that might catch your eye. The locals can be a little rough on tourists, but uh, it's nothing you can't handle. The first order on Batu. Surely we can count on you now. Oh, hello, my friend. Hey. Cool. VR push. Very good. Got Horizon, Resident Evil 4 coming to VR. I think they're gonna do Resident Evil. Another Resident Evil? Resident Evil 8, actually, yeah. To VR 2 and Horizon. There was another game that was pretty important. I can't remember what it is. But yeah, lots of cool VR games coming to VR 2. Good. You will be destroyed. I summon my armor. Demio? Demio brings the creativity and chaos of a tabletop RPG to PSVR 2. Oh. Cool. This next game is being rebuilt from the ground up and will be available outside of Japan for the first time. Oh, cool. A, a lot of localization happening. Let's go.
1967, a lone samurai embarks on a secret quest for revenge and sparks the greatest revolution in Japanese history. I'm getting like Tenchu, like Sekiro vibes, but obviously it's not it. Sakamoto Ryoma san yo. He looks cool. It's like hack and slash. Oh, some gun foo. Nice. It kind of like a dragon ishin. I never heard of that game. It kind of reminds me of Yakuza, which makes sense because it's Sega. Just like like Yakuza, except not Yakuza, Samurais. Hello, Madam Mason. I understand you have a shop to sell. I think you will find my terms quite generous. What's the catch? You are wise to be wary. Why is your mistress selling the shop? She has had rotten bad luck with the last few tenants. Those who came before you just could not seem to escape the darkness. Will you? Oh, damn. Watch your step. I feel like each time they show more on this game, they're showing like a different house. Last time I think it was Slytherin. I think the time before that it was Hufflepuff or something. I mean, they didn't really show much more. I feel like their first showcase of it with the gameplay was the best seller. Big Dan? This art style looks a little like slow claps art style. Warning, warning. An instability front is approaching. Take immediate shelter in a stabilized area. Locations impacted include sectors Delta and Echo. Why is this station wagon just going through mad shit right now? Another one. Pacific Drive. After all these years. Our adventure game? <laughs> I don't understand. Pacific Drive. Notice, like, there's a lot of them that are just saying they're coming Survival on PS5, not PS4. In Pacific Drive. 
The debut game from Ironwood Studio. That's a debut next, game from them. on PlayStation Stars, a loyalty program rolling out soon. I was gonna say, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I never heard of that. Let me get Hi stuff everyone. for trophies. I'm Grace Chen. Not long ago, we announced our brand new loyalty program called PlayStation Stars. They did. It's designed I to celebrate <laughs> you, the players. It will be free to join PlayStation Stars. As a member, you can complete various activities to earn points that can be redeemed for rewards. Digital collectibles are a highlight of the program. These are digital representations of things that PlayStation fans love. Today, I'm pleased to give you a sneak peek at some examples of our digital collectibles. Whether it's a beloved game character or a cherished device from Sony's innovative history, there will always be something new to collect and show off to your friends. And I have more good news. PlayStation Stars will begin to roll out in some regions in Asia starting in late September. It will launch in the Americas and Europe in the weeks that follow. That's it for now. Check PlayStation. I don't know if I care about that. PlayStation Stars. We'll see. God. ジェネレーター出力異常なし。人人口プログラム異常なし。おはようございます。今日もしっかりと稼ぎましょう。栄養採掘ポイント近いです。これはペア Honestly, this looks like it could be fun. It looks like a typical, like. Sind. Sindurality? Like a typical mech anime game, but. A bit more. Cinematic? Sort of? I don't know, whatever. The gameplay looked like it could be fun, though. These next two intense action games are PS5 console exclusives. Let's take a look. Kunarun Katjagi Tajawachi. Damn, that beard looked crazy. The fucking nose hair. Oh, that's not nose hair. So what? <laughs> Let me shut up. I don't know how to do this. This is a very good place in the world. In the past, there were Oh, this is the Project Eve game. I wanted to see more on this. Wow. <laughs> The hair. Like so many bayonetta vibes right now. Total bayonetta vibes. But like more like less arcadey for sure. Nice. This looks really good. Damn, 
Yeah, this looks good. Every time I see something on this game, it looks better. Stella Blade is the official name, okay. Right? Is that how you say it? S Sleta or Stella? It's all like cursive and shit, I couldn't really- Damn, it's coming out next year? Really? Interesting. I thought that was gonna come out in like 2024 or something. They never set a release window, but... Is it called Stella or Stetta? I don't know. Like I said, bunch of weeb games. <laughs> Except Harry Potter for some reason. Uh Team Ninja. After three centuries of the Tokugawa's repressive rule, the black ships appeared without warning. And our nation began to tear itself apart. Those who cleave to the past, those who embrace the new, and the Ronin. Wait, is this free of all masters and bonds? <laughs> Team Ninja is the one that they're working on another game, aren't they, for Xbox? I will watch over you. Uh, this is so Ghost of Tsushima right now. Carve a new future. Your time has come. Rise, as one. Still like another Neo game? Oh, okay. Rise of the Rome. I mean, it looks good. I just, I'm not really sure. Like, it seems like action adventure. Very Ghost of Tsushima like. Era of great change and upheaval in Rise of the Ronin, a sprawling action RPG from Team Ninja. Before we wrap up, we've got one more update for you. The game that we already know about. Out of War? Yes, it is. Indeed, it is. I don't like it. It doesn't look that good. I don't know. Not for me. I'm surprised they didn't do faceplates with that. Imagine having like Everyone a black PS5 me. and then or a pink PS5. <laughs> and then you have that controller that doesn't match. Sometimes it's the only way to protect the ones we love. Maybe they didn't do it because people can't get PS5s. Like selling the face blades is kind of like eh. God killer. I don't know. What is it you want from me? Is it a god of war you came to find? You don't really want war, do you, Kratos? All that blood on your hands, on your son's hands. What is it you will not tell me? I can't talk about it, but I just need you to trust me. We follow your every whim. But you don't believe in any of it. And still, I follow. Because all that matters is that you are safe. But that's not all that matters. Who's keeping you safe? I do not need you to protect me. You sure about that? Pretender God! Ah, oh, the Valkyries are back. Death can have me. Damn, that looks cool. I'm not gonna lie, this looks what like just more God of War 2018. 
Which is not a bad thing at all. Because I love that game. You? Ever prayed to you? Can you even imagine that kind of love? No! You don't care about anything beyond yourself. Beyond the monster who kills without cause. Oh, wow. Fate only binds you if you let it. <laughs> cool. Do what is necessary. Not because it is written. That looks really good. Holy shit. That was Thor. We'll make our own destiny. <laughs> I can't wait for that game. I'm so excited for God of War Ragnarok. All right, and that's that was the it. Show. Short, sweet, to the point. Comes to PS5 at PS4 um, surprised we didn't see Final Fantasy see 16 time. at all because it was supposed to prepare for Tokyo Game Show, but we did get a lot of the these weeb games. Um, the two PlayStation 5 exclusives look good, especially Project Eve. That's one that I've been interested in since they announced it. Um, that's probably the showcase that I'm most excited for from this presentation. Other than that, it's like... I don't know if the, that, that mech game looks interesting, but I'm not like 100% sold on it. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else they show that I was like, oh, the, the VR game, the, the, the VR push is, is good um, with Star Wars, of course. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, it, none of these games looked bad. Uh, it. It's games that I would want to see more of, especially the ones that we haven't seen enough of. But Project Eve from this showcase is I'm so excited for that game. I want to see more of it and I want to play it when, when it comes out in 2023. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought of this showcase. I thought it was fine. It was good. Nothing like too crazy, nothing too surprising or whatever, but it was a good showcase. So yeah, let me know what you guys thought. Hope you liked it. Thank you for watching.